Hello everyone, welcome back to Biswan Air, and you are joined by today, the greatest chef in the world, Deli Boy Hello Dave. everybody, my name is Lexi James, aka the best news prompter, baker, and the best chef in the state of Maryland. Today, in honor of Veterans Day, we're gonna make some very patriotic- American cheeseburgers. American cheeseburgers. Now, let's do some cooking with the announcements. First off, on November 14th, the Washington County Free Library is going to be holding an open mic night at 5 o'clock for teens. Next, the Fall Slash Winter Dance Concert is going to be on November 20th in the Maryland Theater. Be sure to go to that. On November 21st, that's going to be a Tuesday, Business from Society is going to be watching Forrest Gump. Be sure to go to that. And then the day after that, November 22nd, we start Thanksgiving break. It's going to be five days. So, have a great time. Play some burgers. Alright, so on this here tray of ingredients, we have very nice ingredients. First off, head of lettuce. Eight Martin's potato rolls. Meat! 85% lean, 15% fat. That's the ideal ratio of lean to fat in the meat. Oh yeah. A nice, plump red tomato, and very importantly, American cheese. How American? Very American. Patriotic even. Salute that. But before we do any of this, I need to go outside real quick and heat up this grill. So, walk with me now. Now as you can see out here, we have a very nice standalone Charbroil grill. Though we're not sponsored. First step in getting your Fahrenheit little thing rolling, gas it up. Then, bone right here, we're gonna light the flame. You're not gonna see it because it's clean, but it's there. Now, we can go inside and go get to prepping while we wait for this to get to 550 Fahrenheit. Let's get meaty, man. All right, first step. We have to get all this meat out of this little meat container. So, back up a little bit. Be very careful when you're using the knife, guys. Punctured, slicing now. Damn. I have a little scooper thing. We're gonna get about, what is that? Half a cup of meat. Listen, that squish. Ugh. That's, that's good meat right there. Hands were washed in preparation for this. Whoa, bud. Did you make the ball of meat? Did you ball up your meat? Huh. See, real professionals don't, but because I'm here with the sissy. Right there. Meat to meat. You can see who's the leader. That was thin. That was thin. Do you want me to? Use the last bit and put it on now. Yeah, just use the rest of the meat. Use the rest of the meat. Come on. No meat left behind. You're just putting them on top of each other. You're not even molding them into one. But what are you talking? We're not molding them. Are we mold yes, because if you're gonna make a thicker yeah. burger, you're not cooking you two on top of each other. You messed it up. <laughs> Yo, we're actually beef now. No pun intended. Uh, All right, the meat is meated. The meat has been beat. You can start prepping this, and I'm gonna go make the meat. Yes, sir. Jeez, how do you prep cheese? <laughs> how do you prep cheese? I'm Zalegi James, and I love making meat. Our Fahrenheit is a little bit on the higher side. Um, like, a lot. So, we're gonna let that cool down real quick for a second, and I'll be right back. I gotta grab my spatula. All right, so I'm actually not bad at chefing. So today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to prepare your food. And we have a tomato here. Um, I already pre-cut a little line, but the trick when you come to cutting a tomato is you wanna always cut this part off here because you don't want any of that little excess stuff. So we're gonna cut right there. Smooth little cut right down the middle. Listen to the sizzle, guys. This is what life is about. Shout out to the veterans. I'm feeling patriotic. 
So now, what we're going to do is cut our tomatoes. And yeah, it's pretty easy. One slice. That's a little thicker, but there's not a lot of burgers, so I think we'll be fine. Wow, man, look at those burgers. Look at those burgers. Now, because we cleaned the grow beforehand, make sure you always do that. The flame's not gonna be shooting up. Instead, they're gonna come up and they're gonna lick the burger. Let's just discard these three. These are fine. Cool. Cut this little end off here. We're good. Don't stress it, guys. Under. That, now we flip it. Look at, oh, oh, okay. But look at the char on that. Smash it down, juice is flowing. Take these. We have everything ready. Lettuce prepared, tomatoes prepared, pickles prepared, and Dan and Riley Johnson, Deli Boy Dan, prepared. All right, because I'm a professional and everybody knows that, we're gonna excuse all this mess and we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning up. But while we are cleaning up, we're actually going to take a look at all of our other things like our mustard. Who likes mustard? I'm gonna put this one back here. We got our ketchup, the holy grail of sauces, and the same thing with relish. Who likes it? Whatever. Let's gather around. Can you grab two plates? Yeah. Two plates. Andrew Shevlin, can you grab two, two plates? <laughs> I cannot. I got my hands full. Put it on the top of his bun. And be like, I oh, was that why you asked if he wanted the ketchup on his burger? Yes. Oh, okay. But I can't do it now. More. No. I'll I'll put stuff on the burgers. I'll, like I'll put the burgers on and then tomatoes and stuff. You know what? I'll go ahead and make yours for you, Arjun. Nah. No, I'm gonna make it for yours for you because for you're an amazing person. So I'm gonna go ahead and make yours for you, okay? We actually wait, let's switch buns in. Switch buns in. No, I like this one. We I no, I mean I mean burgers. No, you I like make this burger. No, but I'm making yours. No, this is the one that I liked. I, are you gonna make my wait, you want me to make your burger and yes, you make mine? Yes, exactly. But you're gonna mess with my burger. So then switch switch buns. Or, or burger. Switch it. <laughs> I want this. Alright, you want ketchup on it? Yeah, I want ketchup on it. Okay. <laughs> take take the first bite right here. Alright, ready? Zang, these are huge. Right, Cheers. Burger wise. Mmm. Mmm. You good? But get more of a bun, you're not getting nothing. I put way too much pepper on that, <laughs> but it's pretty good. Are they spicy? Oh yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> How bad is it? Pretty bad. Now get some milk, get some milk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got some, right? No, yeah, 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 yeah. What is it? In the water? Yes, put it in. No, in the water? Yo, no, you can't put it. Don't put it in the water. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Yo, Ralph. That's just like around a ghost pepper, right? Are you, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Thank you, everyone. Um, shout out to Mad Dog Three Five Seven. This sauce will blow you away. Over a million Scoville. I feel bad. I want to experience it with you. Take a bite then. I don't want the burger out. I'll go straight hot sauce. I'll go straight hot sauce. I will Thank go you, everyone. If you're gonna do it, do it now. Okay. Legacy James. On camera? Out. Yeah. It usually comes to mind. 
but I constantly on the second floor building, the new building, you can always hear vocalists singing. And I've wondered, where is the singing coming from? I found out on 207, they're always singing the most beautiful, angelic songs. So Hello everybody, and welcome to the interview segment of today's Best Fun Air. Today we're joined with Caleb Bowers and Winston Estelle. Guys, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I'm pretty good too. That's great. And you guys are in the vocal department, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So as a department, is there anything you guys are working on? Well, I mean, um, right now we're working on our music for the Holiday Spectacular. Very exciting. We just finished a uh, whole folder of songs that we performed in Colonial Williamsburg at a church by Candlelight, which was really cool. Um, it was a overnight trip, all the boys. Oh, yeah. We was happy. It was cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> all right, so going from that, anything personally you guys are working on? Well, we always have um, our own private lesson music that we get to do. We, we uh, come in this exact room, actually, and we perform with our uh, lesson teachers, which we uh, get uh, sort of during our uh, sophomore year. Mm -hmm. And then we, we usually get like three pieces each. Some in English and some in um, other languages, which are really, really cool to learn. Yeah. Now, overall, how's your time been here at Biswa? My time at Biswa, it's been pretty good. I've uh, kind of just coasted, honestly. I'm just chilling. I mean, doing my own thing. That's what's up. I wouldn't go anywhere else. I really wouldn't. Well said. That's what's up. <laughs> All right. And to end it off on a good note, please, just one more time, can you perform the Star Spangled Banner? Yeah. Oh, stand and move, see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Here, wait, I'll, I'll eat from the back so I don't like that. That's why he said you didn't get any bun. Oh, well, you can taste it off the bat. I, I can always feel it's it. It's like a peppery feeling at first, and then mm -hmm. it just starts burning. I can do it. I can do it. They get another bite. Yeah, take three <laughs> bites. Three? three? I took three bites. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still.